Hi, Toby Hodges from Yachting World. At Can, hot, Can Yacht Show and it's baking hot, but this is a pretty unusual design to see here because in my mind, this uh, and the new JPK as well are the 45 are really good long distance performance cruising oh, yachts okay. that, um, yeah, lightweight, minimalist, but give the crew lots of protection and give the helmsman a heck of a lot of enjoyment as well. Fast sailing boats um, that are really, really well set up to do the job. Straight away you can see what I mean by the twin tillers and look at this cockpit layout. It is superb. Now I got to sail this boat. This is the Django 1270, um, built in Brittany near Pogo actually. And um, yeah, got to sail this model when it first came out five years ago. The first one was a bit quirky, shall we say, and they've, um, you know, they've revamped it. And you can see that here. It's a much more sort of um, generally acceptable layout and um, it's just, it's been finessed. It's really nice. The main thing I wanted to show you is, is this cockpit. It's, it, it's just superb. You know, you sit out here, hand on the tiller either side, and you've got all your controls to hand. Um, and, you know, the, as well as this, having this hard dodger option, which gives you the full protection inside of that cockpit. So if you do have nasty weather, you're sat in here, you're an autopilot, so easy to trim. No one's having to go out onto the side decks or whatever uh, to trim the running rigging or the sheets. Um, I mean, look at this winch inboard each side. Fantastic carvers, you know, high speed winches, quickly grind in through the gears. Uh, you even got the, um, uh, you've even got the running backstays led here as well. So you can crank those on nice and easily, equally with the backstays back there. So yeah well set up to tweak this boat and get the most out of it it's a standard a 6.7 ton 12.7 uh, meter yacht and uh, that's with a fixed keel this one as all five so far have has a lift keel which you know again a great option to have if you want to get into those shoal waters when you're doing extended cruising really good feel on deck got nice um, tow rails feel secure going up forward in between the uh, shroud bases here good high coach roof with grab rail on it and yeah a couple of notable features up here obviously uh, twin, having the twin head sail set up again so you can swap between a stay sail and the larger Genoa um, to go through the gears and also how they've taken weight seriously you can see that how the uh, the anchor chain is led along the deck here to the windlass here and so there's the chain locker and the chain is brought right off keep the weight out of the ends of the boat and good size sail locker up here with the crash box there as well and you can see it's uh, well you can't see it but it's a lightweight boat it's it's a foam sandwich everything built in glass and foam infused moving forward you got a huge saloon area this there is an option for this table to drop down and fill in as a big day bed or berth stowage under these seats here this is this inboard one obviously you have the lift keel mechanism in there then simple galley And then a large step down into the forward cabin to give you just enough headroom in here. So around five foot nine, max five foot ten headroom in here. Good sized wardrobes in it. And uh, yeah, again, plenty of natural light. 
bang. There are a few creaks and bangs in here, but in terms of th that's just the, the floorboards. Um, but in terms of construction, yeah, all infused glass foam construction, so stiff. Viewing panel there into the lift keel. Otherwise, yeah, good headroom right through this nice light saloon area. Inviting, impressive, go anywhere French design. So this 1270 starts at 380,000 euros. So the boat we're on with sales and tax is around about 500,000 euros. Mm -hmm.